湾公广集团，华视教育文化频道。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是《智慧与阅读》一。各位同学，大家好，欢迎收看《智慧阅读》的节目。上周我们已经开始阅读《爱丽丝梦游仙境》，有看到爱丽丝掉到兔子洞里面。本周我们将继续了解，后来爱丽丝又发现了什么事情呢？我们在上课之前呢，先欢迎我们的特别来宾 Jeff。Hello, Jeff. Welcome to our program. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be here. 同学，我们在上课之前先看一下课文的这一段影片。I shall have to ask them what the name of the country is, you know. Please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? And what an ignorant little girl she'd thank me for asking. No, it'll never do to ask. Perhaps I shall see it written up somewhere. Down, down, down. There was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. Dinah'll miss me very much tonight, I should think. Dinah was the cat. I hope they'll remember her saucer of milk at tea time. Dinah, my dear, I wish you were down here with me. There are no mice in the air, I'm afraid, but you might catch a bat, and that's very much like a mouse, you know. But do cats eat bats? I wonder. And here Alice began to get rather sleepy, and went on saying to herself in a dreamy sort of way. Do cats eat bats? Do bats eat cats? For you see. As she couldn't answer either question, it didn't much matter which way she put it. She felt that she was dozing off. When suddenly, thump thump, down she came, upon a heap of sticks and dry leaves, and the fall was over. Alice was not a bit hurt, and she jumped up on to her feet in a moment. She looked up, but it was all dark overhead. Before her was another long passage, and the white rabbit was still in sight, hurrying down it. There was not a moment to be lost. Away went Alice like the wind. Oh my ears and whiskers! How late it's getting. She was close behind it when she turned the corner. But the rabbit was no longer to be seen. She found herself in a long, low hall, which was lit up by a row of lamps hanging from the roof. There were doors all around the hall, but they were all locked. And when Alice had been all the way down one side and up the other, trying every door, she walked sadly down the middle, wondering how she was to ever get out again. Suddenly, she came upon a little three-legged table, all made of solid glass. There was nothing on it but a tiny golden key, and Alice's first idea was that this might belong to one of the doors of the hall. But alas, either the locks were too large, or the key was too small. But at any rate, it would not open any of them. However, on the second time round, she came upon a low curtain that she had not noticed before, and behind it was a little door about fifteen inches high. She tried the little golden key in the lock, and to her great delight, it fitted. 
Alice opened the door and found that it led into a small passage, not much larger than a rat hole. She knelt down and looked along the passage into the loveliest garden you ever saw. How she longed to get out of that dark hole and wander about among those beds of bright flowers and cool fountains. But she could not even get her head through the doorway. And even if my head would go through, they'd be very little use without my shoulders. Oh, how I wish I could shut up like a telescope. I think I could, if I only knew how to begin. For, you see, so many out-of-the-way things had happened lately that Alice had begun to think that very few things indeed were really impossible. There seemed to be no use in waiting by the little door. So she went back to the table, half hoping she might find another key on it, or at any rate, a book of rules for shutting people up like telescopes. This time, she found a little bottle on it. Which certainly was not here before. Tied round the neck of the bottle was a paper label with the words, Drink Me, beautifully printed on it in large letters. It was all very well to say, Drink Me, but the wise little Alice was not going to do that in a hurry. No, I'll look first and see whether it's marked poison or not. For she had never forgotten that, if you drink much from a bottle marked poison, it is almost certain to disagree with you, sooner or later. However, this bottle was not marked poison, so Alice ventured to taste it. And finding it very nice. It had, in fact, a sort of mixed flavor of cherry tart, custard, pineapple, roast turkey, toffee, and hot buttered toast. She very soon finished it off. Presently, she began again. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny it'll seem to come out among the people that walk with their heads downwards. The antipathies, I think. She was rather glad there was no one listening this time, as it didn't sound at all the right word. But I shall have to ask them what the name of the country is, you know. Please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? And she tried to curtsy as she spoke. Fancy curtsying as you're falling through the air. Do you think you could manage it? And what an ignorant little girl She'll thank me for asking. No, it'll never do to ask. Perhaps I shall see it written up somewhere. Down, down, down. There was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. Dinah will miss me very much tonight, I should think. Dinah was the cat. I hope they'll remember her saucer of milk at tea time. Dinah, my dear, I wish you were down here with me. There are no mice in the air, I'm afraid, but you might catch a bat. And that's very like a mouse, you know. But do cats eat bats, I wonder? And here Alice began to get rather sleepy and went on saying to herself in a dreamy sort of way, do cats eat bats? Do cats eat bats? And sometimes, do bats eat cats? For, you see, as she couldn't answer either question, it didn't much matter which way she put it. She felt that she was dozing off and had just begun to dream that she was walking hand in hand with Dinah and was saying to her very earnestly, now, Dinah, tell me the truth. Did you ever eat a bat? when suddenly, thump, thump, down she came upon a heap of sticks and dry leaves, and the fall was over. 好,我们来看一下这一段的单词的部分。首先第一个单词是现在。Presently, 
It's an adverb. The adverb presently means the same as now or at the present time. 下一个单词是厌恶、讨厌。Antipathy. It's a noun. An antipathy is a negative or bad feeling towards something. An antipathy is something you don't like or which might be opposed to you or something else. By the way, Alice's word choice here is not correct. The word antipathy would make no sense in the way that she used it. 好，下一个单词是相当的。Rather. It's an adverb. The adverb "rather" in this case means to some degree. If Alice was rather glad, let's say, she was more than glad, though not necessarily very glad. 好，下一个单词，女士。Ma'am. It's a noun. The word "ma'am" is a contraction of the longer word "madam." Ma'am is a respectful term for a woman. 好，下一个单词是行屈膝礼。Curtsy, it's a verb. To curtsy is to make a formal greeting. The greeting is called a curtsy. When curtsying, girls or women put one foot forward and then bend at their knees. 好，下一个单词是无知的。Ignorant. It's an adjective. 好，下一个单词是碟子。Saucer. It's a noun. A saucer is a small plate generally used with teacups. A teacup sits on a saucer. 好，下一个单词是老鼠。Mouse. It's a noun. A mouse is a small rodent with a long tail. Big ears and a pointy nose. 好，下一个片语是打瞌睡。Doze off. 好，下一个片语是手牵手。Hand in hand. If you are walking hand in hand with someone, you are walking while holding hands with that person. 好，下一个单词是诚恳地。Earnestly. It's an adverb. 好，下一个单词是怦然声。Thump. It's a noun. A thump is a heavy sound that is made when something is hit. 好，最后是一个片语的用法，许多的意思。A heap of. 好，我们接下来看一下这一段的大意的部分。我们先看到，在影片里面呢，同学可以看到，就是他说现在呢，啊、呃，他又在说话了，就是爱丽丝在掉的过程之中又在说话。然后他就在讲说 ，I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth。我们看一下，他说呢，我想知道我会不会就穿越过地球。然后呢，因为他在北半球，所以他到了那些头朝下走路的那些人那边，所以这会非常的 funny， 就是会非常的古籍。然后他说呢，这一次他很高兴都没有人听他说话。然后他突然想到有一个字叫做 antipathies， 但是这个字呢似乎是不太正确。刚刚 Jeff 老师也提到了这个字是用错的。然后这个时候呢，爱爱丽丝她就说呢，我想我应该问他们这个国家叫什么名字，所以她自己又在讲了 ，Ma'am， is this New Zealand or Australia？ 她说呢，请问您知道这是纽西兰呢，还是澳洲？因为这两个国家都是在南半球，所以她认为他们是刚好是跟北半球的人走路的方向是相反的，所以。这个时候，挂号里面你可以看到，他说呢，爱丽丝在说这话的时候呢，还故意要行个屈膝礼，就是代表说他是非常有礼貌，而且呢是非常正式的。然后我们在引号里面会看到说，如果我这样子问的时候，人们一定会觉得我是一个非常 ignorant little girl。好 ，ignorant 就是说非常无知的意思。不不不，我永远不能这样子问。也许他们一定会在某一个地方有这样子写，写在某一个地方，我们可以找找看这样子的意思。
就是说他最后是说 written up somewhere， 就是说在某一个地方有写说这是什么国家。好，下一段的话，因为刚刚一直在一个掉落的过程之中。所以他就会说 down down down， 就是一直不断的在掉，因为他是在掉的过程之中一直不断的有一些啊、呃、发生的事情，还有他心里的一些内心的话，他自己把它描写出来。所以他说除此之外呢，也没有别的事可以做了。因此呢，过一过一会儿呢，爱丽丝又说话了。他说呢，我敢肯定，他家的那只猫叫 Dina， Dina 呢今晚一定是非常的想念我。所以我们可以看到，挂号里面是说 Dina was the cat。然后他说呢，我希望他们不要忘了下午茶的时候要给他准备一碟的牛奶。那同学可以看到，在这边是用 saucer 这个字，就是碟子的意思。他说 Dina， 我亲爱的，他说我多么希望你也一起掉下来，然后跟我在一起啊。I'm afraid， 这边的意思是恐怕的意思。他说呢。恐怕呢，空中并没有你要吃的小老鼠，呃，不过你可能会抓到一只蝙蝠。蝙蝠，你要知道它其实是很像老鼠的。可是呢，猫吃不吃蝙蝠呢？这个时候，爱丽丝就开始 doze off， 在这边的意思就是说开始打瞌睡了。然后它也迷迷糊糊地还在说。那猫吃蝙蝠吗？所以同学可以知道，在这边的话，刚好是因为呢，这个是，呃，他已经不知道他在说什么话了，因为他在 doze off， 所以他是说猫吃蝙蝠吗？有的时候又说蝙蝠吃猫吗？因为我们在英文里面发音呢，其实这两个字听起来是有点像，一个是 cats， 一个是 bats， 所以它两个都会一直互相的混混淆在一起。所以他说呢，这两个问题呢，他哪儿个也回答不出来，所以他怎么问都没有关系。这个时候呢，他突然睡着了，然后开始做起梦来了。所以就在这个时候呢，突然“桑”的一声，就是“桑”，就是掉下来了。然后他掉到一堆的枯叶上面了，最后终于到了底部了。这个是一个掉落的过程。好。那我们接下来呢，来看一下下面一段，它掉掉下来，掉到地面之后，又发生了什么事情呢？我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下下一段。Alice was not a bit hurt, and she jumped up onto her feet in a moment. She looked up, but it was all dark overhead. Before her was another long passage, and the white rabbit was still in sight. Hurrying down it, there was not a moment to be lost. Away went Alice like the wind, and was just in time to hear it say, as it turned a corner, "Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting!" She was close behind it when she turned the corner, but the rabbit was no longer to be seen. She found herself in a long, low hall, which was lit up by a row of lamps hanging. From the roof. 好，我们来看一下这一段的单词的部分。首先，第一个单词是头顶上。Overhead. It's an adjective. The adjective overhead describes something that is above one's head. In the passage, overhead refers to something that is like in the sky. 好，下一个单词是走道的意思。Passage. It's a noun. A passage is a narrow way to get from one place to another. 好，下一个单词是看得见。Sight. It's a noun. If something is in sight, it is in one's field of view or in one's field of vision. For Alice, the rabbit in this case could still be seen. 好，下一个单词是小胡子。Whisker, it's a noun. 好，下面是片语，不在。No longer, no longer means not anymore. In this case, Alice could not see the rabbit anymore, or she could not see it as she had before. 好，接下来是一排的意思。A row of. A row of is a series or sequence of objects. 
situated in a line. 好，接下来是屋顶的意思。Roof, it's a noun. A roof is the top covering of a building or a vehicle. 好，我们来看回来这一段的课文的大意。我们刚刚知道，就是它已经掉到地面上了。然后我们看到这边的话，它是说，在这边爱丽丝呢一点都没有摔伤，她立刻就站起来。然后她又看到了那只白兔，就正急急忙忙地又向前跑。然后这一回呢，爱丽丝就在想说，别再错过这个时机了。他就像一阵风一样追了过去。他听到兔子在转弯的时候说：“哎呀，我的耳朵啊，还有胡子啊！”就是他在这边就说：“现在呢又太迟了。”好，这个时候呢，爱丽丝已经离兔子是非常近了。但是呢，当他也赶到拐角的时候呢，兔子却突然不见了。他发现自己是在一个非常长的、很低的一个大厅。接下来，我们来看一下下面一段的内容。我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下。There were doors all round the hall, but they were all locked. And when Alice had been all the way down one side and up the other, trying every door, she walked sadly down the middle, wondering how she was ever to get out again. 好，我们来看一下里面的单词。我们看一下这个单词是锁起来。Lock, lock, it's a verb. 好，那我们接下来看一下这一段的大意的部分。刚刚我们已经知道了，就是呢，他看到这个大厅，然后呢，发现大厅的四周都是门，然后都是锁起来的。所以呢，爱丽丝就从这边走到那边去。可是每一扇门都打不开，他伤心地又走到了大厅的中间，就在纳闷说：“那该怎么样出去呢？”好，接下来我们看一下下面一段，我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下课文的部分。Suddenly she came upon a little three-legged table, all made of solid glass. There was nothing on it but a tiny golden key, and Alice's first idea. Was that this might belong to one of the doors of the hall, but alas, either the locks were too large or the key was too small. But at any rate, it would not open any of them. However, on the second time round, she came upon a low curtain she had not noticed before, and behind it was a little door about fifteen inches high. She tried the little golden key in the lock, and to her great delight. It fitted. 好，我们看到里面的单词的部分。第一个单词是三只脚的。Three-legged, three-legged. It's an adjective. 好，下一个单词是坚固的。Solid, solid. It's an adjective. 下一个单词是极小的。Tiny, tiny. It's an adjective. 好，我们看回来课文的。翻译的部分，我们刚刚了解到，就是他在这边看到了一个三只脚的桌子，然后我们看一下它里面发生了什么事情呢？他就是拿了那只钥匙，他就一一的去开，但是呢，不是锁太大呢，就是钥匙太小了，所以他最后呢就怎么样也打不开。突然发现有一个低帐幕的后面呢，有一个大概是十五英寸的小门，就就是在这个时候呢，他这只小金钥匙呢，直接往小门的锁里。面一插就打开了，他非常高兴，是刚刚好的。好，我们再请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下下面一段的课文。Alice opened the door and found that it led into a small passage, not much larger than a rat hole. She knelt down and looked along the passage into the loveliest garden you ever saw. How she longed to get out of that. Dark hall and wander about among those beds of bright flowers and those cool fountains, but she could not even get her head through the doorway. And even if my head would go through, thought poor Alice, it would be of very little use without my shoulders. Oh, how I wish I could shut up like a telescope! I think I could, if I only knew how to begin. For you see, so many out-of-the-way things had happened lately that Alice had begun to think that very few things, indeed, were really impossible. 
。好，我们来了解一下。后来这一段的大意是什么呢？我们看一下在这一刻的部分啊、哦，他是说打开了门之后呢，他发现就是在这个小门里面呢是有一个走廊的，然后但是呢，爱丽丝呢，他就在想说，就算头能过去，肩膀也是过不去的。我多么希望我又能缩小成就是望远镜里面的小人呢、啊？然后。他在想说，我想把自己变小，就是只要知道说还有什么样的方法。最近发生了这么多的事情，他觉得没有什么事情是不可能的。好，我们接下来来看一下下面一段，我们请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下。There seemed to be no use in waiting by the little door, so she went back to the table, half hoping she might find another key on it. Or at any rate, a book of rules for shutting people up like telescopes. This time, she found a little bottle on it, which certainly was not here before," said Alice. And tied round the neck of the bottle was a paper label with the words "Drink Me" beautifully printed on it in large letters. It was all very well to say "Drink Me," but the wise little Alice was not going to do that in a hurry. No, I'll look first," she said, "and see whether it's marked poison or not, for she had read several nice little stories about children who had got burnt and eaten up by wild beasts and other unpleasant things, all because they would not remember the simple rules their friends had taught them, such as that a red poker will burn you if you hold it too long, and that if you cut your finger very deeply with a knife, it usually bleeds." And she had never forgotten that if you drink much from a bottle marked poison, it is almost certain to disagree with you sooner or later. However, this bottle was not marked poison, so Alice ventured to taste it, and finding it very nice, it had in fact a sort of mixed flavor of cherry tart, custard, pineapple, roast turkey, toffee, and hot butter toast. She very soon finished it off. 好，同学，这一段呢是《爱丽丝梦游仙境》中非常重要的一个段落。我们来了解一下这一段的大意的部分。首先，我们看到爱丽丝又回到桌子上，然后呢，她看到有一个瓶子，上面就写上 “Drink me”， 这个也是《爱丽丝梦游仙境》之中非常常会提到的。那我们说 drink me 呢，听起来是很不错，但是聪明的爱丽丝呢，却不会急着去喝它。她说不行，我得要先看看上面有没有写着 poison， 就是毒药这样子的字样呢。她说呢，因为她听过很多精彩的故事，都是有关于小孩子是怎么样被烧伤的，或者是被野兽吃掉的，还有一些令人不愉快的事情。所以这些事情呢，都是因为小孩子都没有记住大人说的话。然后爱丽丝知道，喝了写了毒药的瓶子里面的药水的话，迟早都是会要受害的。然而瓶子上面并没有毒药，所以呢，爱丽丝她就冒险了，尝了尝，但是感觉到是非常的好喝，因为呢，它混合了很很多种的味道。那这些味道呢，同学可以看到，就是说呢，有 cherry tart， 有 custard， 就是说有樱桃的呃 tart， 就是蛋挞。然后呢，还有 custard， 就是卡士达的那样子的蛋挞。然后 pineapple， 凤梨味。然后呢，还有 roast turkey， 就是烤火鸡。还有 toffee， 就是太妃糖。还有呢 ，hot butter 的 toast， 就是有关于热奶油的面包这样子。所以呢，他很快的就一口气的把它喝完了。好。同学，这边呢就是有关于 drink me 这个部分，就是这一段里面最重要的段段落是这个部分。那我们今天课文就上到这边为止，非常谢谢大家收看，我们下周见，拜拜。